Today I'm going to show you how to add in leading zeros to a number. Uh, I'm going to show you just three methods. The first method is very function heavy. The second one is pretty pretty easy to use. And the last one is just a formatting. So for the first option, uh, I have some raw numbers here uh, in this uh, column. And the first option is with the three functions concatenate, repeat, and len, len which is like the length of a string or number. So um, I'm just going to add concatenate, and what concatenate is going to do is going to join um, the original number with the leading zeros. The way I get the leading zeros is by using the repeat function here, and repeat basically it repeats some text a certain number of times, however many you specify. Uh, here I want zero to be repeated, and the number of times is. I want a max of four, and then I want it the zero to appear uh, however many times a number isn't there. So I set a max of four, and then I'm going to subtract the length of uh, the original number here. So what that basically is, it's going to give me the number of times uh, to repeat that number. So you can see the repeat is kind of useful, and it's a bit dynamic if you want to repeat a certain thing a certain number of times based on uh, some condition. So that's what repeat is going to be doing here for me in this uh, in this function. I'm going to close that repeat, and then I'm going to finish the concatenation by adding in the original number. So if I just close that out, you can see that I get my uh, leading zeros in there with a, a max of four. I can go to the data or the formula tab and do an evaluate formula, so you can just see it a little clearly. So this looks at the repeat function, the number of times portion. It starts with len, and it gets the raw number of 12. Uh, it's going to check how long that string is, and it sees that it's two characters long. So it's going to be 4 minus 2 to get 2 to tell me how many times to repeat the number 0. So it's going to show the text now with two zeros. And then now the concatenation function takes over. And we're just going to join those two, the original number of 12 with the two leading zeros that were added from the repeat and length function. And that's what you get. The second option is with a text function. And the text function is insanely useful. A lot of people don't know about it. It's a lot of, I get a lot of questions on it um, that are related to leading zeros or adding in commas to a number to format it in a particular way. Uh, and this is the best way to do it. You can save the number uh, in the cell as uh, it's formatted. So here, you just take the raw number, and then you add in a format code. Um, this is very similar to formatting in a cell. Um, so here, I'm just going to add four zeros. I don't have to specify anything other than the format that I want it in. And this could work for zip codes, phone numbers, etc. cetera. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, with a little more information about these format codes so you can uh, use the text function a little more. But you can see here that that's pretty simple. You just add in the format and then you add in a number. Instead of three different um, functions, you could just add in the format code that you want. So that format code is very similar to this last piece here on how to get a leading zero, which is the f just formatting the number itself in the cell. So the way you do that is by going to um, how, wherever you format the numbers. I don't, I'm not sure where it is in 2013 or 2010. I imagine the format's pretty similar. But if you go to the number format, click on the dialog box, you should pull up something like this where you can format a number. If you go to custom, you can type in your uh, zeros here, which is basically the same format code from the text function. And then if you click OK, you don't see anything change, but if you add in your number, you will add in the leading zeros. One thing to note here, though, is that you can see that these are left aligned and these are right aligned. And that's because these are being stored as text, whereas this is being stored as a number with a format. So if I click on this first one, you can see that there's no leading zeros here. Same here, there's no leading zeros. Uh, I could show you this better in VBA. So if I look at VBA here, I just have this function that gets the value and the text of a cell and here's the output it's, we're just looking at this top row here you can see that for the first function the concatenate repeat that the value is being stored uh, with the leading zeros and the text is being stored with the leading zeros 
Uh, same thing with the text function, the value and the text are being stored. Uh, that's because it's converting it to the string because concatenate is a string function, text is a string function. Um, so it's storing these numbers, which were, uh, the original number was a number, or the original value was a number in column B. And it's storing those as uh, strings, so numbers, uh, except for the last one. So E, column E, is showing these uh, these values as numbers. So that's why it's being stored without the linear zeros. But if we look at the text here, we can see that it has um, the text format with leading zeros. So if, you've, if you're if you writing VBA and you're working on a column that has uh, a formatting to it, applied to it, and you want to get that formatting, uh, you're going to have to use this text uh, value instead of the, or the text property instead of the value property for the particular cell or range. So uh, that's three ways to add leading zeros, plus a caveat in, with uh, VBA if you're working with VBA. So uh, if you have any more questions, uh, just let me know. I think this was B12, so now, now it all makes sense. So yeah, if you have any more questions, let me know. Uh, uh, send me a message, uh, put it in the comments. And yeah, I hope that helps. Thanks.